Post-Olympic depression, I think, you know, is something that's real. It happens to 70, 75% of more people just because, you know, you, you work for four years up to that moment and then within 30 seconds, it's gone. And then you have to wait for another four years. So you're kind of like, you're, you're almost lost. You know, you, you, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, and, and you don't know who your identity is. You know, I think being able to, you know, look back and process, you know, over five Olympics and, uh, you know, 20 plus years in the sport, uh, I was able to accomplish every goal that I ever had. I would say it was a, it was a good career, a fun career. When I was in the water every single day, probably by seven o'clock, or on the pool deck by seven o'clock, 6.37, stretching. Uh, I had two hours in the pool, um, and then I would have, I had three weight sessions a week. I was spending probably 25, 26 hours a week in the swimming pool. And no days off? No days off, no, no days off. Um, well, I went, I guess for six or five or six years, I went 365 days every single year. Um, but again, like for me, I was trying to get different results than anyone had ever gotten in history. So I had to do it in a different way. I had to approach it in a different way. There are days where you wake up and you wish you could roll back over and hit the snooze button. But, you know, on those days, I think it's super important to be able to get 5, 10, 20% out of the day instead of zero, right? So you always just want to keep moving forward. Did you show to the world or your coaches or your teammates any signs of mental distress? Mm -hmm. Or you tried to hide it? No, I mean, I think throughout my career, I never did because I think I always thought it was a sign of weakness, right? Like, you know, especially with the male athlete, you would think if you share something like that with your competitors, then you're giving them an edge. So, um, yeah, I, I guess throughout my career, I found ways to compartmentalize it and stuff it down and um, pretend that nothing was wrong. Um, but then I think the last, my last Olympics was when I kind of opened up and showed my real self, right? I, talked about me struggling and talked about it's okay to not be okay and you know you're gonna have bad days um, so yeah could you speak about this year 2014 when uh, you, you go down could you explain this uh, yeah I mean I, I just got my second DUI and was pretty uh, pretty depressed I felt like I didn't want to be alive anymore um, and then I got to the point where I, I felt like there were other roads and avenues that I could go down and try and see what kind of help that I could get. Um, so for me, again, checking into a treatment center and, and being able to really dive deep into why I am how I am, why I act how I am, why I'm carrying along this, this baggage or the stress or these extra things that I don't need. Um, so, you know, again, just me being able to learn more about myself and how I work every single day Uh, I think gives me the ability to become my authentic self and be my authentic self every single day. And that's what I try to do. I feel I'm a human being. Um, I think for a long time, I didn't really see myself as a human being. I saw myself as an athlete or a swimmer and not a person. So um, for me, I can, I can like and enjoy the reflection that I see in the mirror. Um, you know, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a friend, I'm a hard worker. Um, Yeah, I'm me. I think athletes need more support and, and more help. Um, you know, I feel like there are a lot of things that can be done from the highest level. Uh, and, and until that's happened, until that has happened, I, I don't think we'll see the sport world continue to change, right? Like, I feel, you know, for me, growing up, like, if I had a physical injury, that was fixed like that. There was a doctor that helped me like that. But a mental problem, or if I was struggling mentally, nobody wanted to help. So that has to change. And until that changes, we won't continue to see sports grow.